stay in the moment. You left all your problems back at the motel with Vincent. Uh, uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, it's, it's so good to see so many of my friends and family can make it. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> nice party, Whit. Okay. How dare he show up at this party after what he did to Valerie? Did you invite him? Of course I didn't invite him. Chad invited Valerie. Well, how did he find out about the party, Whitney? Well, I don't know. He is a sleazy tabloid reporter. It takes some nerve to come here, though. He's got brass, that's for sure. <sighs> well, I'm not going to put up with it. I'm going to tell him he needs to leave this very second. No, no, Whitney, Whitney, stop. Make a scene, okay? It's not worth it. Yeah, but I don't want Valerie to walk in here and find Vincent here. That's not right. Okay, look, I'll call Valerie. Tell her that Vincent showed up. She can decide to come if she wants. Yeah, but that's not fair. I, I mean, Vincent is the one who's in the wrong here, don't not Valerie. Don't make a Valerie. scene. Don't make a scene. Okay, it's my birthday. Come on. Oh, okay, okay, it's fine. Go ahead and call Valerie. All right. It's voicemail. Valerie, it's Chad. Look, Whitney and I would like you to know that the Vincent crashed my surprise party. Now, you're still welcome to come, but we understand if you don't. Do you truly consider the consequences of leaving a fox for Miguel? What kind of future you and that dear little Maria would have, Miguel serving a life sentence? Mm -hmm. Teresa and Ethan are trying to get Miguel and Luis out on appeal. Well, they won't be successful, will they? The evidence against both of them is overwhelming. I don't care. Because I love Miguel, and, and I know that something's going to happen, and he's going to be set free. Actually, you know, I may be able to help you with that. Said the spider to the fly. You... You would help Miguel get out of prison so that we could be together. Actually, I know an investigator who could get Miguel off. Really? Who? How? Well, I'm not at liberty to go into the specifics of that at this point, but just rest assured this person can get the job done. Oh, my God, Julian, that would be great. Please have this person do that. Well, yes, but I really, I would like you to do something for me. Gotcha. Mr. Crane, if you can get Miguel out of prison, I'll do anything you want. Wonderful. I see we understand each other. Wait, what exactly do you want me to do? Oh, that. <laughs> I want you to stay with my son. What? You heard me, dear. If you want me to have Miguel set free, I want you to stay married and faithful to my son, specifically. Never see Miguel again. Oh, there's an emergency at the hospital. Mm. I'm gonna have to go. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. You just uh, drive safe. I will. Happy birthday, honey. Mm. Thanks. Hi. Hey, Chad. Sorry we're late. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Look, there's a lot to eat and drink, so uh, enjoy yourselves, okay? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I want to ask you, what happened at the motel today? What motel? Ah, oh, come off it, man. Come on, I saw you running away. I was calling after you, and you just kept going. Um, excuse me for one second. Uh, everyone, please, can, can I have your attention for one second? Um, I have an announcement that I would love to make. Baby, what is it? Chad, honey, um, everyone, <laughs> I just found out that, um, we're going to be celebrating another birthday very soon. I'm pregnant. Whitney's pregnant? You cheating on me with your wife? I swear you will never be intimate with Miguel again. You were the one who fired this gun at the motel, weren't you?